All right, so I just learned about these Jupyter Lite notebooks, which can run entirely in the browser. The Python is running fully in the browser. There's no kernel running on a server. Um, so what you do, go to this demo repo, click use this template, create a new repository, give it a name, click create repository. I'll put the link to this in the description. And then um, we're just going to wait a second. Now, they made this super easy. And maybe we'll have to make one change to the settings, and that will be it, and it will deploy by itself. So as you'll see, the repo has been created. And there's this like GitHub action running. If you don't see that, or either way, come to your settings, and then come to actions, general. And then just make sure that read and write permissions is set. And that this is set as well, that we're basically allowing these GitHub actions. And then when you commit, it's going to run some code that will deploy the website. And then the one other thing we need to change is we're going to go to pages. Sorry about that. And then from here, choose GitHub actions. And this allows GitHub Actions to deploy to your GitHub pages, giving it a public URL. And then now the one thing we may need to do, because we just set those settings, this may fail. Um, I'm just going to wait and let's, let's see what happens. All right, so it's been a few minutes, and now you'll see that this has turned into a check mark, which means that all the steps of the GitHub workflow have passed. And if you didn't, if you had a red X, maybe you didn't change these settings in time. You can just come in here, click details, and it will say somewhere in here, this stage will fail, there'll be some X. You can just go to rerun all jobs and click rerun jobs. And then um, at, the, at the point that you now have like your one commit with the check, we can visit the public URL for this, dem for this repo, which basically you're gonna take your GitHub username at .github.io and then put the name of your repo. Just give this a second. All right, and we are in the Jupyter Lite notebook running locally on your computer, um, like self-contained in your browser, although like obviously hosted publicly so you can share this link. And just to show that it works, we will just print print a message. And we'll give it a second. And now I still need to like look into Jupyter Lite more and play around. This is just a tutorial on how to deploy it to get started. Um, but like these files here are coming from your repo, by the way. So if we look in here under content, that's where some of these files come from. You'll see them here. Um, my computer's a little slow. This is going to work, <laughs> I promise. Um, but by the way, I'll also put the link to the Jupyter Lite docs in the description, that's what you really want to read. Big props to the developers, they made this super easy and I'm very excited to keep playing around with it. So, there you go, happy hacking.